Hello, Brick Warrior fans, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Brick Warrior's Mask. I'm your host, GM Corey. <laughs> it's July for not much longer. Uh, we're really getting this in under the wire here. So in this episode, we will be talking about the new accessories being released this month from Brick Warriors. And I will be talking about conventions, because there are a lot coming up. Uh, in the month of August, we have four alone, and then a bunch more in the fall. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on going to conventions with Brick Warriors. First up, let's take a look at the newest accessories from Brick Warriors. It's the Pirate Captain accessories. Check them out. Buy corn. No, don't buy corn. It's a buy corn. The hat. For your pirate captain. Or your recreation of the musical Hamilton. Works either way. Blunderbuss. No blunder here. This custom Lego gun is historically accurate. I think. It's a short barrel, large bore gun with a flared muzzle used at short range. Flintlock pistol. A pistol with a flintlock mechanism. What's a flintlock mechanism? That's what Google's for. Another historically accurate custom Lego gun. Seriously, I really hope these are accurate. Breaker sword. What's a swashbuckler without a sword? The grooves in the blade will make for some interesting cuts and bruises for your enemies. These are the Pirate Captain accessories. Arr, those look cool. That was horrible. I'm sorry. All right, conventions. Let's talk about them. First up, August 6th and 7th is Brick Fair, Virginia. And it's also Brickfest Live in Anaheim. Brick Fair, Virginia is like one of the big important conventions, um, Lego conventions in the U.S. Used to be the biggest. Uh, I don't think it is anymore, but it's still very popular. I actually went to Brick Fair, Virginia three years ago when I was not working for Brick Warriors. Um, I was living in Baltimore, and so I was only like less than an hour away from Chantilly, Virginia, where Brick Fair, Virginia is. And uh, I knew Ryan and Amanda were going, so I decided to drive down and visit them. And it was pretty cool. It was the first Lego convention I'd ever been to. And I was blown away by all of the mocks they had on display and all the different vendors. It was really cool and a lot. They even put me to work and had me actually like counting people's stuff that they were buying and getting their money and stuff which is like, well... It was a little preview of what my future would be like. Little did I know. So Brick Fair Virginia, I'm sure some of you are going that are watching, maybe, probably. Um, it's a very popular one. You should check it out if you can. Ryan and Amanda will be there. Uh, they only go to a few conventions a year, so this is your chance to meet them. Ryan and Amanda are the co-founders of Brick Warriors, and Ryan designs all of the accessories that you love, in case you didn't know who Ryan and Amanda are. So definitely go to the convention, go to the Brick Warriors booth, annoy Ryan and Amanda as much as possible. They love it. They love when people t come up and just talk, 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 talk. It's their favorite thing. Watch episode number 12 of Behind the Brick Warriors Mask, and uh, that will give you lots of tips on how to act at a convention. But not any convention that I'm at. Don't, don't do that. Don't pull that crap with me. All joking aside, definitely check out the booth if you're going to be there. Um, and talk to Ryan and Amanda if you want. Um, they probably would like it. It would help pass the time. As for Brickfest Live, like I said, August 6th and 7th, it'll be in Anaheim. August 13th and 14th, it'll be in Denver. And August 27th and 28th, it'll be in Pasadena. 
Corey, aren't Pasadena and Anaheim right next to each other? Yes, they are. Why are they having conventions so close together in practically the same place? I don't know. LA is the second biggest city in America, though, so I guess there's a lot of people they can reach if you go twice in the same month. Soon there will be three Brickfest Lives in August. Uh, Ryan and Amanda will not be at any of them. I will not be at any of them. Dylan won't be at any of them. Kyle won't be at any of them. Who will be there? You'll have to go and find out for yourself. But most importantly, Brick Warriors will be there. You will have a booth with our accessories that you can buy and see in person. Um, so if you can go to any of those, that would be awesome. And check us out. So anyway, what happens at these conventions? Well, I took you to my first convention, which was in Leesburg, Virginia, over two years ago. Uh, it was, what was that convention? Scouting for Bricks. It was run by Boy Scouts. I did a video for that, episode three, Convention of the Sith. Check it out here. Um, I gave a little tour of what was going on at the convention. Uh, and then I also gave a little behind the scenes stuff in, I want to say, episode number 17? But it was an episode where I went to, um, what was that place? Marlboro, Massachusetts, which is up north, so where they don't have southern accents. But anyway, that's where I went. I did a video on it. It's here. One fun thing I had to do, which I did in the second video, which was in Massachusetts, um, is walk around and look at all the fun stuff um, at the convention before or after a session starts. So I get to walk around with no other people, just the other vendors, and that's really cool. So anyway, if you do get a chance to go to a convention as a fan, I highly recommend it. As a vendor, make sure you have some good company that you're with. It'll make it go by faster and make it more fun because those hours can be long. And it's fun. It's all, all the hard work of the convention is worth it for those fun days where you get to go sightseeing. Walk across the Golden Gate Bridge, which I did. Go to Alcatraz. Go to the top of Willis Tower. Go see Wrigley Field. So many awesome things I've gotten to do because I went to LEGO conventions. So anyway, that's my rambling on LEGO conventions. You should go to one, because especially as a fan, You'll probably enjoy it a lot. And then you're with your people. Your people that also love Lego so much, they would go to a Lego convention. Lego, bringing people together. Since 19, in the 40s or 30s or something. Anyway, and that's pretty much the end of this episode. As usual, subscribe to the Brick News Network channel, which is what we post behind the Brick Warriors mask on. Subscribe to Brick Warriors channel, which is what we post other stuff on. Uh, check out my blog, The Brick Connection, posted every Thursday on our website, brickwarriors.com slash blog. Last week, I decided to build a mock, my first mock, and let me show it to you. Here it is. What is it, you might ask? I don't know. I don't know. These are just, I only had two little sets to, to use, including um, Ray's Speeder. Some of you might recognize that. Here are the little shooters that are from her thing. Um, it's very stable, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, but there's the underneath. Oh, man. And um, yeah, but it was fun to try and experiment mock building, my first one. Uh, I like to actually get the real Lego bricks to build with, not these tiny little pieces, because I'm so new to it. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you, and now I have. And now that's the end of this episode of Behind the Brick Warriors Mask. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
getting ready for conventions. And if you can't go to the convention, you should check out BrickWars.com.